Hi. <laughs> Hi. Are you excited? Yeah. I'm excited. We don't know why we're so nervous. We make YouTube videos all the time, but we're so excited that it's like a good nervous. Yeah. But welcome to Chasing Sunsets. We have been planning and dreaming of launching this new channel, Chasing Sunsets, for forever. We cannot wait to bring you guys along with us. If you're coming over from my main channel, then you need no introduction. But if you're new here, I'm Jessica. And I'm Brian. And this is Daisy. But we call each other Bunky. I'm Bunky number one. Number two. <laughs> You'll get used to it. So anyway, we're so excited to show you guys a tour of our brand new fifth wheel. But first, we want to take you through the process of actually purchasing this fifth wheel and saying goodbye to our first RV, which was a Grand Design Imagine 2670 MK, and Tra we travel trailer. travel trailer, and we loved that RV so much. So we really did not plan on getting a fifth wheel right now, but things just happened. It was the right one. We love the layout. The color scheme was perfect. The price was right. All the things, and so it kind of just all fell into place. We're so excited to give you the tour of our new camper, but first let's take you back and show you kind of the process of getting this one and saying goodbye to the bunkhouse. Morning, I am in the car waiting for Bunky. He's about to come in here. If y'all are seeing this, it means we bought a new RV. We are currently headed over to Conway to the camper's in location over there because the camper that we really, really love is on that lot. So we're gonna go take a walk through it and make sure it's everything that we dream of. eyes on her again you broke your heart broke my heart yeah it did we're some sad bunkies <sighs> we'll probably be happy in about nine hours yeah. <laughs> or hopefully like seven hours if we're lucky yeah seven eight hours oh man she's been a good one she has so many good memories. So let me go back and kind of tell you why we are starting Chasing Sunsets. So it was like always our dream to have an RV. So once we got the bunkhouse, we just completely fell in love with it. Like the entire RV lifestyle, our hearts are just the most content and happy whenever we are in our RV. And that is just like what brings us so much joy. And so over the past two years of having our first RV, we have just always talked about like going more full time and we're like one day someday we're gonna do that like and we would just dream about it and so kind of over the past couple of months we're like why does it have to be you know someday why can it not be today like let's figure this out we can you know work from the road let's do this and so we decided to go into it full force put our heart into it and jump right in and so we are so so excited to bring you guys along on this journey our plan right now is to kind of be part-time full-time we'll probably travel for like two to three weeks at a time and then come back home to our home base in Rolls Inlet um, and stay for like two to three weeks and kind of just go back and forth and then hopefully take a lot longer trips as well we want to go all over the United States we want to see everything explore make memories we're so excited to bring you guys along with us and of course chase all the sunsets that we can possibly see and the whole reason we chose that name is because ever since we moved to Merle's Inlet well forever like I love seeing a sunset and I'm I don't I sleep in too long to like see the sunrise you know yeah, we're not, we're not, <laughs> we're sunrise, not sunrise people, people. so we um, might become more of sunrise people but right now we're we're sunset people. we're sunset people and ever since we moved to Merle's Inlet like it has become one of our favorite things almost daily we walk down and see the sunset over the water and it's our favorite little like date night special thing that we do together and I'm constantly trying to like 
you know find the most beautiful one and so we're gonna take off in our camper and chase all the most beautiful sunsets that we can possibly find and we just cannot wait for you guys to come on this journey with us so welcome to b52 <laughs> do you want to tell everyone what b52 stands for since you're the one who came up with the name yes so our prior rv we called the bunk house and you guys know sign here yeah um, so this one is still the bunkhouse, even though it's not actually a bunkhouse, but we called it the bunkhouse. Because we're the bunkies. The five is for fifth wheel, and then two is because this is our second RV. It's like 2.0. And I do kind of feel like if you saw on the front cap there, it's a silver color, so it kind of reminds me of the airplane. And yeah. this is also larger than our other one was. So. I think B-52 is a fitting name. It's perfect. Okay, so we're gonna start by what we call like our little hutch area. And to me, this was like the focal point of the camper. And it kind of made it feel way more homey. So it's like a hutch, our coffee bar. There's so much storage over here. I love the backsplash. And it was just such a pretty added touch to this camper. So I love this cool little spot where we can kind of have a throw all like we put our keys here our phones sunglasses daisy stuff there's even like a usb um the green light shining back there <laughs> yeah a little outlet back there so that we can charge our phones as they sit here we have storage and i really like the um glass facings on here mm -hmm. i also like the lighting that we have in there too. i do too i think the lighting on this is really cozy especially at nighttime and then like i said the backsplash to me was so beautiful with um the countertops. Now I don't really have everything set up like what's gonna actually be in here but the um, cabinets are so deep and they're like really good amount of storage. And then of course down here we have even more storage and these drawers are also really big. We can fit a lot of things. Bunky even has his own little <laughs> De dedicated, <laughs> dedicated coffee. coffee drawer over here. So this space to me was just like one of the best features. So uh, another thing that actually drew me to this particular camper is the refrigerator. So this is electric only. There's no uh, propane with it. And we actually have solar on the roof. So we can actually keep this running in cold while we're uh, traveling down the road, moving from place to place. But this thing gets colder faster and this refrigerator is pretty much residential there's all of our stuff in there yeah. um but there's so much storage in this fridge i think i'm gonna get some sweet tea <laughs> now that i now that i see it in there so we love the lighting in this camper first of all there are so many windows so there is so much natural light and they're not just windows they are massive windows and we love it whenever we're like sitting down having dinner i'll show you in a second there's this big window back in the back i mean it is just like epic mm -hmm. we love the pendants and y'all this kitchen is just so beautiful. We love this kitchen. And a big reason that we chose this camper in particular is because if you follow us over on our other channel, then you know we have a cooking channel. And so since we're gonna be on the road a lot, you know, we're still gonna be cooking and putting all of the recipes over there as well. So I wanted a kitchen that I like, didn't feel like I was missing something that we could still you know make all of our amazing recipes and try things out for you guys and share so this kitchen for us was perfect we have this huge island there's so much space farmhouse style sink we love the fixtures everything like it's just so beautiful do you see this pantry oh yeah that the pantry is so big like i was like bunky we could go buy groceries for like three weeks and put them in this pantry i think it's bigger than like what we have at our actual it's almost house. the same size <laughs> yeah so this is the pantry and it has like a little motion um sensor light in there but i'm telling y'all this thing is so big like we don't even have enough stuff <laughs> to fill it out and it's nice that we can put like all of our extra water down there um we have like paper towels you know all the things can you tell that we really love our bubble cups? <laughs> but the pantry definitely was another feature that sold us. And then back over here, we have our um, stove and oven. And y'all, these gas burners are so nice. They are beautiful. We've already cooked a full meal in here. It's amazing. The oven is a pretty good size. I feel like I could put a casserole in there if I really wanted to. And then we have these huge, they're like, so big y'all these drawers i could fit so many things in here so we have three of these and then up here on our counter i just have our paper towels cute little tray to put like our oils and salt and peppers 
more storage, and then of course a microwave. And if you're coming over from our other channel, I know that you're just like squealing <laughs> with excitement that we have a microwave in here. And then I also love having this little window back here. So while we're cooking, we can look outside and it just lets a lot of like natural light in here so that this space doesn't feel like too dark. And then of course in our kitchen island, we have the storage under the sink and then these three drawers as well. So tons and tons of storage in here. And one last thing about the kitchen that I really love is that underneath the island, I don't know if you can tell, but it has like lighting. So at nighttime, it is just so cozy. I'm telling y'all the lighting in here is so, so, so good. But moving over to our like living room area. So we have our TV, fireplace. This fireplace is a little bit bigger than our old one and it is also extra cozy. And then we have this big drawer right here. So that's really nice. And then up here we have our like radio sound system all of that stuff there's like speakers throughout the camper and they play inside and outside and then there's storage on each side over here there's also storage up above this couch and this couch is another thing that we love about this camper so we wanted to have a space that like if we have guests they have somewhere to sleep and this couch pulls out into like a full-on queen-size bed it's really comfortable and it's funny because you know i'm a recliner girl so we have our recliners over here and that is one of my favorite things about the camper but i have been so surprised at how often i have sat on the couch i actually love having this little seat so funny enough i actually got this rug from target for our house and it didn't really fit in the space that I had it in our house and I was like, wait, this is the perfect space for it. So I brought it in here and I love it. So we have this um, ottoman, which actually goes over here with our little dinette. So you can see the back of it right here, which that is removable and we can take that off. But it's like a, um, how do you say, like a seating for one side and then the two chairs can be on one side yeah. if you want four people to eat here. But since it's just Spunky and I, we kind of like it here because it just makes this space feel like way more homey, I think. And then, of course, we can use the ottoman for storage because that opens up. So you can kind of maneuver this how you want or just have like this whole big open area, which is also really nice. And then, of course, you know, the recliners, which we love. Yeah. They're heated, massage. They have lighting on them. They're cool. One thing that drew me to this camper and this floor plan that I kept on um, like mentioning to you over and over was that this is all on the campsite and it gives us these really large windows and you just have so much more visibility um, to see like what's going on around at the campground. I love the free seating table versus like the booth time that we used to have. It is so nice. This is of course where we're gonna be getting like all of our work done and stuff. So chairs also have storage in them. Then moving on from our dinette to up our stairs to our bathroom and bedroom. We have like our control panel. Uh, yeah, and I kind of like that it's, it, it's nice that it's kind of behind this so you don't have to see it all the time. Yeah. But at the same time, you do have to open it up and check your tanks and you know, that's where you can get to all this lighting and stuff. Um, this is actually controllable by an app on our phone, um, which I haven't explored yet, but I think it's something I'm gonna look into. A little bit more storage up top there. Yeah, and we do need to dump our <laughs> great yeah, tanks. We've been here for a few days already, so. Um, coming up. I like, hang on, I like that the stairs also have like a little light on them so at nighttime the stairs are lit up. And then thermostats here. Um, one thing that I do like about this camp, this RV too, is that it has this um, fan that's automatic so you, you don't have to, you'll see in here, like we don't have to manually um, open and close the one in there, which now that I'm thinking about it, you just can't reach it because it's so high up on the ceiling. So there's no other option other than to have one of those automatic yeah. fans like that. Another thing that I like about this too is this is like a one piece of fiberglass insert and we can really tell the difference in how solid it is. Yes. It, actually, it really does feel much more residential and I think this one's about 12 inches longer than our other. It feels so spacious in there. Yeah, I think we had a 30 by 36 in the last one. This is 30 by 48 and it, it really makes a difference. Another thing too is the, uh, this is shower head. Just being that little bit larger also makes, makes all the difference in the world. Yes. Yeah, and y'all, I can shave my legs in the shower. There's a bench there. Like, it's like having a shower at home. Mm -hmm. Another thing too that we like, really liked about this is the um, actual faucet itself. Our other one, it kind of just came straight out and it was really low. This is a little bit deeper and this gives you just more room to, to do things under there. Wash your face, wash your hands. 
more storage over here. Yeah, and then if you, um, so there's the control for our uh, tankless hot water heater, um, which has been awesome as well. Yeah. I'm just wondering how fast our propane is going to burn out. Storage in here. I'm pretty sure every single thing in here is fine, except for that's your deodorant. <laughs> That's right. Pretty that much. Is, that is all yours. And then what's cool is like this, um, all of this storage in these drawers, they are the length of the yeah, it goes, shower. It goes so like all the way back. It is there. so deep. You can put so much stuff in there. It's like kind of crazy. And this is plenty, uh, yeah, plenty big for space. me in here. So. Oh, and this shower has glass doors, which our other one was just like a little plastic. Yep. Yeah. This is so, so, so nice. So one thing about our bedroom that we love is that the bed is actually on a slide and it's facing east to west. I get that right, Bonnie? Mm -hmm. Yes. So that way it like gives all of this extra floor space. If you've been in an RV before, you kind of know the bedrooms can be tight and you're trying to like squeeze around it. But because it's on that slide, we now have like all of this room. And then this bed is also a king size bed and y'all, we <laughs> love it. It is so comfortable. The mattress, way better than our old one. And we put like a mattress um, topper on there. This particular one that they had in stock just happened to have a king size bed. Yeah, and, we're know, happy about we're it. We're glad that we ended up with this because it is... I like, have like never slept so good as I have in this bed. Now, the one thing we did give up because this is a king size is in the queen, there's like little um, side, side tables. tables. Yeah. I kind of wish we had side tables, but... Nonetheless, this is like, you I, know. I just set my phone up here at night. Yeah. I mean, it works great. And I do love having like the little windows by our bed because every morning when I wake up, I lift my blind and I can look outside and it's so nice. Then, another reason we love this. <laughs> you can like see me crawling across the <laughs> We have this massive closet. We have full length mirrors, which is going to be great as far as doing trials for Instagram and stuff like that um, while we're traveling. And this closet is just massive like I feel like you will not be able to tell really on camera but he's computers back there but there's like shelving there is washer dryer hookups on each side we have shelving yeah, here so I think I can fit most of my shoes and clothes in that closet yeah between between this and then all the dresser space over here yeah with all of these cabinets and then all of these drawers as well we can definitely fit like all of our clothes and shoes in here and there's also a place that we can mount a tv if we want to do that we may do that down the road and get like a little swivel mount so that can come out it don't have to be a very small tv but we may or may not do that so as far as outside we don't have these all the way extended but we do have two awnings now which we love right and i like about this one is that it's actually on the um like the slide itself because our other one it extended over the slide and yeah we're losing it the, like the led lighting wasn't as good because it was over the top of the slide box right um but i love the two awnings we actually have different stairs than we had in our other one too so these actually like flip up and they don't have the other set we had had this like railing going down the side so these are much easier to sweep off one thing that i don't love just to point it out is we used to have a magnetized door lat like it would just open and it would magnet uh-huh this one you actually have to use this little latch on and if you don't remember that you did that and then you try and close the door you're like tugging on it you know yeah one thing that I do really like is the massive basement storage. This thing is huge. I feel like we could fit an actual like bed in here. Probably like a twin size bed. You can, you know, sleep in here if you it's wanted to. It's so big. We like don't even know what to do with it yet. We still gotta figure out exactly how we're gonna organize this. That's like Bunky's next project. Yeah, basically just moved everything into here haven't really put it together yet although i don't mind the way it is so far yeah it's nice keeping the black stone like right there y'all i cannot tell you how amazing it is to have like this big basement another thing that's changed we used to have 20 pound propane tanks now we have two 30 pound propane tanks so that's that's awesome yeah and i'll explain why in just a second and then i don't really know what to call this um this is where you can put a generator and i guess this is where a lot of like the electrical equipment stuff is um so like more storage or you can put generators there one thing this camper is not lacking on is storage 
inside and outside. Place, places to put stuff. Yeah. It's one of my favorite things to say. <laughs> Another 30 pound propane tank is behind there. One thing that I think is cool is the way that these doors open. So you can open like just this one and then you have access to your um, tank pools and there's actually an outside shower here, the cable stuff, all the little switches there. Um, and this swings open this way and then you have access to the full, whole thing. Full access, right. Another thing that's good for this too, I guess because this is a fifth wheel, mm -hmm. This storage, this storage area is actually, I think, a little bit higher yeah. than it was in our travel trailer. So I'm not having to like lean over quite as far to get down in there. That is nice. And then another thing that we have with this one is this four-point electric auto leveling system. Now we're still trying to figure this out and see if we really like it. I'm kind yeah. of a manual girl myself. The, the attaching, unattaching, um, we've done successfully several times. Daisy Mae is going yeah. crazy. <laughs> um, but we're definitely learning that process still. Still learning It also curve. comes with, um, there's like a tire link system, TPMS system. Yeah. So going back to the uh, 30 pound propane tanks, we actually have a tankless hot water heater now. So I'm curious to see how quickly we're gonna be going through propane. Yeah. But it has been awesome having that so far because your, your shower situation oh, is, is just great. It's the best. So, um, and then this is a 50 amp. Uh, RV. Another thing that I like, which, you know, not to go into too much detail, but there's only one, um, like all of the gray tank, you know, all the tank valves, they come to just one connection, so you don't have to use the Y valve thing, which is awesome. Yeah. I need to learn about electricity. Yeah. There's a lot to learn about electrical <laughs> stuff. Because I honestly don't, this is probably embarrassing. I don't know if you call this t 110, 12 volt. AC, DC. I don't know, but we know, have outlets out here. <laughs> yeah, so there's some outlet. Three prong outlets is what I like to call it. Yeah. Um, and then there's a uh, cable connection over here too. So we, so we could have a TV out here. Yeah, set up a TV out here. Um, another thing, if you want to go, go down uh -huh. below here, one other thing that we really liked about this one is that um, what well, came with Goodyear Endurance tires. Which those are the best. Yeah, so that's... That was huge and important to us. That's great. And um, and then we also have this Moride suspension system, which we used to only have leaf springs on our travel trailer. And I feel like that's really going to help with um, the ride down the road and all that stuff. Yes. So I, I really like that feature as well. And there was one last thing over here that I feel like is awesome and very important. Okay, tell us. You got your uh, little propane connection out here. So yeah. as you can see, our little Blackstone stand here. It's nice having that so you don't have to have like a separate propane tank that you're carrying around with you that you're connecting to to, to cook and grill outside. So. Right. All right, so that's a look at our Grand Design Reflection 337 RLS. We love this RV so much. We like are beyond grateful. There are not enough words to just like express how excited we are for this journey we are gonna hit the road and we're gonna be like semi full-time rvers and live the rv lifestyle and we cannot wait to bring you guys along for this journey to make so many memories to see places we like never thought possible and to do it all and the B-52, <laughs> it doesn't get much better than that. So the plan is, is that you guys will have a new video every Sunday night. If you are just as excited as we are, we hope you will stick around and subscribe. Give this one a thumbs up and we will see you next week for a new video. Bye y'all.